Welcome to H. Anting H. Arbor TV. Uncover the mysteries that lurk in the shadows and dive into the supernatural with us. I'm your host, Hamad, and on this channel, we embark on eerie adventures, explore haunted locations, and unveil the secrets of the paranormal. From abandoned mansions to cursed artifacts, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join our community of thrill seekers. H. Anting H. Arbor TV is your gateway to the mysterious, the haunted, and the unexplained. Are you ready to face the unknown? Let the haunting begin. Once upon a time in the small, forgotten town of Ravensbrook, nestled deep within the shadows of an ancient forest, there stood a mansion shrouded in mystery. This imposing structure, known as Blackthorn Manor, had long been abandoned, its crumbling facade concealing secrets that whispered through the winds like ghostly murmurs. The townsfolk spoke of a cursed past, of tragedy and sorrow that had befallen the mansion's inhabitants, leaving behind an unsettling residue that clung to the air. One fateful autumn evening, a group of curious teenagers from Ravensbrook High decided to explore the enigmatic Blackthorn Manor. Among them was Emily, an adventurous young girl with a penchant for unraveling the unknown. Her friends, Jake, Rachel and Alex, hesitantly agreed to accompany her on this eerie escapade. The moon hung low in the sky as the group approached the looming mansion. Ivy snaked its way up the decaying walls, and the moonlight cast eerie shadows through the shattered windows. As they pushed open the creaking front door, a cold gust of wind seemed to welcome them, whispering tales of a haunted past. The interior of Blackthorn Manor was frozen in time, with faded wallpaper peeling away like the layers of forgotten memories. Dust danced in the dim light filtering through cracked windows, and the air was thick with a palpable sense of foreboding. The group cautiously made their way through the dilapidated hallways, their footsteps echoing like distant whispers. As they explored further, they stumbled upon a room that seemed to defy the decay surrounding it. The door groaned open to reveal a pristine, miniature world within, a dollhouse. Its delicate exterior showcased an intricate replica of Blackthorn Manor, complete with tiny furniture and eerily lifelike dolls. The dolls within the miniature mansion were frozen in hauntingly realistic poses. Some wore expressions of despair, while others seemed to gaze into the void with vacant eyes. The centerpiece of the dollhouse was an eerily accurate representation of the group themselves, standing in the exact positions they were at that very moment. Emily's eyes widened with a mix of fascination and unease as she examined the dolls. A strange compulsion took hold of her, and she reached out to touch the miniature version of herself. The moment her fingers made contact, the atmosphere in the room changed, and an otherworldly energy enveloped them. The room seemed to come alive as the dolls started moving, mirroring the actions of their human counterparts. The tiny Jake, Rachel and Alex walked through the miniature mansion, their faces contorted with silent screams. The dolls of Emily's friends were drawn towards a room in the dollhouse, a room they had not yet explored in the real Blackthorn Manor. Driven by an inexplicable force, the group followed the doll's path, navigating the labyrinthine corridors until they reached the door the dolls had entered. The room beyond was shrouded in darkness, the only source of light emanating from an old dusty chandelier hanging from the ceiling. The room was filled with an unsettling silence, broken only by the faint echoes of their footsteps. As their eyes adjusted to the dim light, they noticed an array of peculiar dolls lining the room. Each doll bore an uncanny resemblance to the townspeople of Ravensbrook, frozen in twisted expressions of agony and despair. At the center of the room stood a large, ornate dollhouse, the Dollhouse of Despair. It towered over them, its windows reflecting the haunting visages of the dolls within. The air in the room grew heavier, 
and an oppressive feeling settled upon the intruders as they realized the dollhouse held the souls of the mansion's tragic past. The room seemed to come alive with spectral energy as the dolls within the dollhouse of despair began to move, each telling a different tale of woe. The town of Ravensbrook had once been a thriving community until a dark force had taken root within Blackthorn Manor. The mansion's inhabitants had dabbled in forbidden rituals, seeking to unlock the secrets of immortality. The ritual had gone awry, trapping the souls of the residents within the dolls and binding them to the dollhouse of despair. The cursed miniature mansion had become a conduit between the living and the afterlife, drawing unsuspecting souls into its web of misery. Emily and her friends were now entwined in the tragic narrative of Blackthorn Manor, their fates interwoven with those who had met untimely demises. As the group attempted to leave the room, the door slammed shut, sealing them inside. The dollhouse of despair pulsed with an ominous energy, and the doll's eyes glowed with an otherworldly light. A haunting melody filled the air, as if played by ghostly hands on an unseen piano. The dolls within the room started to dance in macabre harmony, their movements synchronized with the haunting music. The air grew colder, and whispers of despair echoed through the room. In an attempt to break free from the malevolent enchantment, the group searched for a way to dispel the curse. They discovered a journal hidden among the dusty remnants of Blackthorn Manor, detailing the tragic events that had unfolded within its walls. The key to breaking the curse lay in appeasing the tormented souls trapped within the dollhouse of despair. Guided by the journal's instructions, the group embarked on a harrowing journey through the mansion, collecting artifacts and unraveling the mysteries that bound the souls to their miniature prison. They faced spectral apparitions, each one a manifestation of the pain and suffering that lingered in the mansion's haunted halls. As they delved deeper into the secrets of Blackthorn Manor, the group uncovered the twisted history of the cursed ritual. The dark force that had claimed the mansion sought to feed on the despair of the living, using the dollhouse of despair as a conduit to draw in unsuspecting souls. The dolls within the dollhouse of despair became more animated as the group progressed, their movements reflecting the release of pent-up anguish. The once stoic faces of the dolls now showed a mix of relief and gratitude, as if acknowledging the group's efforts to free them from their spectral prison. In a climactic confrontation with the malevolent force, Emily and her friends faced the embodiment of despair itself. The entity, a shadowy figure with piercing red eyes, loomed over the dollhouse of despair, feeding on the collective suffering of the trapped souls. With courage and determination, the group confronted the entity, using the artifacts they had gathered to weaken its hold on the mansion. The dollhouse of despair trembled as the entity fought to maintain its grip, but the combined efforts of Emily and her friends proved stronger. As the entity dissipated into the ether, the oppressive atmosphere in Blackthorn Manor lifted. The dolls within the dollhouse of despair fell still, their haunted dance coming to an end. The room returned to a state of eerie stillness, and the door creaked open, allowing the group to leave. With the curse broken, Blackthorn Manor seemed to exhale a sigh of relief. The once decaying mansion now appeared as a mere relic of the past, no longer a vessel for the malevolent force that had plagued it for decades. The dollhouse of despair stood silent its miniature inhabitants freed from the torment that had bound them. As Emily and her friends exited the room, they found themselves back in the dilapidated hallway of Blackthorn Manor. The air felt lighter, and a faint glow emanated from the once dimly lit windows. The moon hung high in the sky, casting an ethereal light that bathed the mansion in an otherworldly glow. They realized that the dolls, once trapped in the miniature prison, had vanished from the dollhouse of despair. The room now stood empty, 
a testament to the group's success in breaking the curse that had gripped Blackthorn Manor for so long. The dolls, once frozen in states of despair, had found peace. The journey out of the mansion was eerily serene. The group retraced their steps through the now hallowed halls, the once menacing whispers replaced by a gentle breeze that carried a sense of gratitude. As they approached the grand entrance, the front door swung open with an ethereal grace, inviting them to step into the moonlit night. Emerging from the depths of Blackthorn Manor, the group felt a profound sense of accomplishment. The town of Ravensbrook, once shrouded in the shadow of the cursed mansion, seemed to awaken from a long, troubled slumber. The darkness that had loomed over the community began to dissipate, and the air was infused with a newfound tranquility. News of the group's daring venture spread throughout Ravensbrook, and the townsfolk, once wary of the haunted mansion, began to reclaim their confidence. The once abandoned town square bustled with life once again, as if the curse had lifted not just from Blackthorn Manor, but from the entire town. As days turned into weeks, Emily and her friends became local heroes, celebrated for their bravery in facing the supernatural forces that had plagued Ravensbrook. The mansion, no longer a place of dread, became a symbol of resilience and redemption. However, as the group reflected on their ordeal, a lingering question remained, what had caused the initial tragedy that led to the curse? Digging deeper into the history of Blackthorn Manor, they discovered an ancient legend of a forbidden love that had ended in betrayal and heartbreak. Generations ago, the original inhabitants of the mansion had been entangled in a web of love and deceit. The forbidden affair had led to a series of tragic events, ultimately culminating in the ill-fated ritual that cursed the mansion and its occupants. Emily and her friends decided to delve into the untold stories of the past, seeking to uncover the roots of the curse and offer closure to the spirits that had long lingered in the shadows. As they combed through forgotten archives and spoke with the elders of Ravensbrook, they pieced together the tragic tale of two lovers, torn apart by jealousy and greed. Driven by their newfound mission, the group stumbled upon an ancient artifact hidden within the depths of Blackthorn Manor, a locket that had once belonged to the ill-fated lovers. The locket held a potent energy, a remnant of the love that had been twisted into despair. In a ceremonial ritual conducted within the now purified mansion, Emily and her friends used the locket to channel the spirits of the star-crossed lovers. The air crackled with energy as the room filled with an ethereal light. The spirits materialized, their spectral forms intertwining in a dance of reconciliation. As the lovers' spirits embraced, a soothing calm settled over Blackthorn Manor. The locket, now devoid of the residual energy that had fueled the curse, glowed with a soft radiance before gently dissipating into the air. The once troubled spirits departed, their lingering presence finally finding peace. The mansion, now free from the shackles of its dark past, stood as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. The townspeople of Ravensbrook, having witnessed the restoration of Blackthorn Manor, embraced the once dreaded mansion as a symbol of redemption and forgiveness. As time passed, Blackthorn Manor became a beacon for those who sought solace and closure. People from neighboring towns visited to pay their respects and reflect on the intertwined destinies that had unfolded within its walls. The dull house of despair, now a relic of the past, remained on display in the town square as a haunting reminder of the town's history. Emily and her friends, having played a pivotal role in the redemption of Blackthorn Manor, moved forward with a newfound appreciation for the delicate balance between love and despair. The once abandoned town of Ravensbrook flourished, its residents living in harmony with the echoes of the past, transformed by the resilience of the human spirit and the power of redemption. Thank you for joining us on this haunting journey. If you enjoyed our paranormal adventures and want more chilling content, 
Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and ring that notification bell. Your support keeps the spirits alive. Until next time, own take care and be happy.